Hey everyone, here we go again with more random packs from PackBot, my pack dispensing robot. Let's go. We're going to start off at the bottom here with a pack of Dark Steel, and of course be scanning up the rares and any other good hits that we find and just kind of discussing the wonder that is old Magic the Gathering packs. Mostly old, somewhat old. Let's go here. Dark Steel Pendant. Unforge, Elkin Engineer, we got a Spire Golem, Essence Drain, Mystic, Drooling Ogre, a Leonin Bola, Flux, Land Shaper, Courage, Uncommons, we got Murderous Spoils, Core Tapper, Stir the Pride, and a rare Fangren Firstborn. Four, it's a beast. Four, two, whenever Fangren Firstborn attacks, but it won't counter on each attacking creature. Probably not a big one. Yeah, two bucks, actually. I was surprised. There we go. Off to an okay start. Now we got a pack of Avacyn Restored. One of my favorite sets. Let's go. Thunderbolt. A ghoul, a sanctifier, an escort, There's the shield, and a devil, apprentice, renegade demon. We got a gold knight commander, oops, a latch seeker, hobbin ghoul vampire, and a demonic rising. One of the bulkiest of bulk rares, I'm pretty sure. It's an enchantment at the beginning of your end step if you control exactly one creature. Put a 5-5 black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. So. It's 33 cents. <laughs> a human and a foil into the void. That one's pretty cool. But it's not a big one. Alright, moving on to Guilds of Ravnica. I did say this stuff was... Some of it was new, right? I think I mentioned that. Ledev Guardian. Unexplained Disappearance, Barrier of Bones, Devkaran Dissident, I don't think I've ever said that word out loud, Blade Instructor, Command the Storm, Capture Sphere, Locket, The Rage, whoops, Hired Poisoner, we got Integrity and Intervention, Silent Dart, Crowl Swarm, and a Deafening Clarion, card that I actually just bought. Choose one or both. Deafening Clarion deals three damage to each creature or creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. I use that in my Super Friends deck. It's been reprinted as a promo pack, but it is 49 cents for the standard version and a Guild Gate and an Angel Token. Okay. Ninth edition core set. Oops. Let's see how this goes. All white border here. Warrior's Honor. Flowstone Shambler. Lumen Grid Warden. Craw Worm with the new newer art or different art than what you normally see. Coercion. Foot Soldiers. So just two four vanilla. Sacred Nectar. Dark Banishing. Elvish Berserker, Crafty Path Mage, Felwar Stone, pretty decent uncommon artifact right there. We'll scan this one. Three ninety nine. Bog Wraith, very cool art on that one. Threaten and a Mountain and a Worship. Great. So I guy had just shown off a Worship that I had in another set, which I would be happy to have but this is the wrong version so there we go for four it's an enchantment if you control a creature damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead it's a good card it's all of two dollars i thought it was better than that what do i know i think it must have been reprinted uh let's see next up is battle bond uh let's do the side opener actually no it doesn't have that oh, never mind it's upside down here we go it's late here I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. We got a warrior, 
We got a mountain. We got a foil midnight guard. And, oops, a game plan. Let's see. For five and a blue, it's got assist. Any Another player can pay up to five of this spell's cost. Okay. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into the library, then draws seven cards. Exile game plan. So, good politics card for a commander. Obviously, this was printed for two-headed giant, which I'd love to try that sometime. Let's see. How much is the game plan worth? It's a buck fifty-one. So, somebody's using it out there. Got Lava Field Overlord, Tenacious Dead, Angel of Retribution, and some comes Traveler, Maggot, Shock, Elemental Combo Attack, and some other commons. There we go. All right. Next up is Alara Reborn. Come on. Man, that pack was like hard to get open. There we go. A putrid leech. Solid pride mage. Good common right there. We'll scan this one. 94 cents. It's over my minimum. Colossal Might. Jesse and Zombies. Ether Sworn Shield Mage. The Naya Sojourners. Wings. Sigil of the Nyan Gods. Personal Thresher. Offering to Asha. Uncommons, Cathari Remnant. Um, I'm not sure which ones are good in this set. Vengeful Rebirth, Illusory Demon, and a tip card, and a pretty good swamp. This is a cool art swamp. And Enigma Sphinx. So that swamp is okay. Enigma Sphinx is four, and the Esper, white, uh, blue, and black. It's a Sphinx. It's a 5-4 flyer. When it's put into a graver from play, put it on, into your library third from the top, and it's got Cascade. So Cascade is usually pretty good, but that's kind of a high casting cost to get it out there. You want to do a bunch of other stuff before you play this card, I imagine. So 49 cents. That's it. Um, okay, Packbot. Give up the goods here. Corset 2021. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Sapperling token, Windscarred Crag, a Foil Grasp of Darkness, oops, and a rare Heroic Intervention. Good card. For one and a green, it's an instant. Per permanence you control, gain Hexproof and Indestructible until end of turn. Yep, 10 bucks. Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, Bolt Hound, Alpine Hound Master, a Corpse, a Siren. And a dub and an ogre tampering and a skeleton archer. All right. Lastly, a pack of Modern Horizons one. Does this have the side opener? It's so hard to keep track of these anymore. What is in here? We got an elemental token. Whoops. Got an art card for what is this? Excavating Anurid. Love it. Got a snow-covered island and more upon the boundless. Awesome, that's a good one. Um, for seven, it's a legendary creature shapeshifter with changeling. You can choose a creature type. Uh, I'm gonna choose slivers because I just got one of these from the list, and that's right where it went it's into my slivers deck. Spells of the chosen type you cast cost Wooberg less to cast. This uh, effect reduces only the amount of colored mana you pay. Other creatures you control the chosen type get plus one plus one. It's a bomb right there for a lot of different tribes, especially a tribe that uses a lot of colors, I imagine. So it's a good commander too. So that one gets a sleeve. Nice little hit there at the end. Throws of chaos. Um, I don't think that's worth a whole lot. No, it's not. Splicer skill. Good Fortune Unicorn, and some commons. We got Prohibit, Defile, a Savage Swipe, a Shroud, and a Soul, and some Disappearances. So that does it for Packbot and me uh, with our <coughs> random packs. I uh, did pretty good, I think, uh, especially one card was half of what we opened. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you later.